Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, I wanted to go over cursors in Game Maker Studio. I have a simple game in front of me, and if I run it, uh, all I can really do is draw some sprites. I have a just a black and white circle here that I can draw whenever I click the mouse button. Now, right now for this game, my mouse cursor is okay, but what happens if you're using some other kind of game and you want a different mouse cursor? So we have the option to change the default cursor to something, or we can implement our own cursors. So let's actually take a look at both of them. The very first thing I wanna do is inside my objects, I'm just gonna create a new object called uh, object cursor and make sure I spell that right, cursor. And what I'm gonna do is in the create event, this is where we're going to uh, manipulate our cursor. So the actual code that we wanna use is window underscore, and in here we could say set cursor. Now it expects a cursor value and all the cursors start with CR and then underscore. So you can see we have a whole bunch of different ones here. And if you look at the documentation, it will tell you uh, what kind of cursor it is. So actually if we just do CR hourglass and we make sure that this uh, object is in our room. Now when we run the game, instead of having that normal cursor, we should have an hourglass cursor. You can see mine is spinning here and I can still click and everything works as normal. Now, what happens if I don't want any cursor at all? Well, actually in the CR, we could just do CR underscore and there is none. So what this will do is it will actually hide our cursor completely. So I'll no longer have a cursor as long as I am on the game. I can still click and do everything as normal, but my cursor is now completely hidden. So I'll close it out here and now let's say, okay, well, now that we have those kind of defaults down, what I want to do is I want to have my own cursor. I've kind of drawn two cursors here. I've drawn a red cursor and then a spin cursor. And let's actually implement one of these red cursors. So this is actually fairly easy to do. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I set my sprite and I'll just set it to the cursor itself. So the next thing we'll go to the step and the step event. And what we have to do is we have to tell this object to follow the mouse. In Game Maker Studio, we have access to mouse X and mouse Y. So hopefully you'll be able to figure that out because all we really need to do is set the X and Y coordinates of this object. So we could just say X equals um, mouse underscore X and Y equals mouse underscore Y. And that's updated every frame. So wherever we move our mouse, this cursor is going to follow. So if I just run my game, we should see the result that we want here, but it might be a little bit different. If I click, you can see it's working exactly as planned. Now, the reason I said it might be a little bit different is it all depends on how you've set up your sprite. If I come up here and I close my game and I look up my sprite, my uh, anchor is in the top left. But if I had my anchor, let's say in the bottom right, and now I run my game, wherever I click, my cursor is very small, so it might not be noticeable, but wherever I click, you can see that the, the circle is a little bit off centered. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. I'm going to close this and change this to the top left. Okay, so with that done, we have uh, regular cursors and now we have custom cursors. What we can also do is we could have a waiting cursor. If I come back up to my cursors, which is right here, let me just close everything else so I only have that. Now, all I want to do is set my cursor to be the spinning cursor. So up here, if I hit play, you can see it's just it's spinning uh, in a circle. And what I need to do, then let's actually say if I press a certain key. Now, I'm just going to use the events here, and I'll just say, you know what, if I press the, I go to letters, and I do the R key, I'm going to set the sprite of this cursor to that cursor spin. So all I really have to do, again, is say my sprite index is going to be SPR cursor underscore spin. Now, the one thing that I would probably do in the create event, depending on what kind of cursors I'm going to have, is I may set the image speed equal zero, just in case for some reason I have a cursor that's animated and I don't want to animate it. So what this means is once we do this, when we press the R key, our cursor is not going to spin. So we have to set that image speed back to the default, which is one. So if I do this, let's see if this will work. If I run my game, I can get my red cursor, and if I hit the R key, 
you can see that now the cursor is now waiting. So I can still click around and do stuff, but my cursor has been changed and it's now animated. So we've kind of covered all the different cursors that I want to cover. It's a super quick video and I just wanted to get it out there. Just so hopefully if you're doing your game and you need a custom cursor, you can, uh, you can use this to build one up. And that brings this video to an end. Please like, comment, or subscribe. And I'd like to also give a special shout out to the Patreon supporters that I have and another shout out to Paul Dalton. Once again, thank you. It means so much to me.